Friends, I bring greetings to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I have a message to share with you. The title is uh, Eye-Opening Experience in Galway. I hope this message finds you well. I wanted to share with you an eye-opening experience I had on Sunday, the 8th of October, between early hours of Sunday morning till about 4.30 a.m. I was planned to share my testimony in our Sunday service in the morning. I attempted to print out 100 copies of my message, but my printer refused to cooperate. In my quest to get those copies printed, I embarked on a journey that revealed some unsettling aspects of our city, Galway. It was 4.30 a.m. when I returned home after visiting seven hotels and even the Garda station all in an attempt to print those hundred copies. What I witnessed in the early hours of the morning left me deeply concerned. At 3 a.m., the streets were filled with young men and women intoxicated with alcohol, sitting on the middle of the roads, shouting and crying. I encountered a young lady uh, in a hotel who was so drunk that she could barely talk, stumbling and falling all over the waiter. I prayed fervently for her safety and that of others like her. This experience left me pondering the fate of these young souls when they wake up in the morning. It is disheartening to witness such a waste of young lives. It is evident that we need to earnestly pray for a mighty move of God in our city. When I visited the Garda station to print my copies, the Garda officer was more than willing to assist. While there, I saw a lady uh, uh, reporting the loss of her purse. The incidents piled up and it became clear that our city is facing numerous challenges. What God we need is a transformation that only God can bring about. We must fervently pray for His glory to fall upon our city where people cry out to God with hearts of repentance. The pubs remain closed and no one seems interested in going there anymore. It seems that a spirit of repentance is sweeping across both the young and the old. In the name of Jesus, I pray for our city. I pray for a revival that will shake us to our core. A revival that can only be orchestrated by God himself. Let us unite in prayer for Galway, for its youth, for its people, and for the future we all hope to see. Amen and amen. Have a blessed day, friends. God bless.